Hi, I'm Natalie, also known as the Liquid Muse. I discover and share drinking culture trends from around the world. Come take a peek at the pages of my little black book. Have you ever wondered what it was like during Prohibition? You know, that little period between 1920 and 1933 when alcohol was illegal? Yeah, that sucked. So the cocktailians of the day created these secret saloons called speakeasies. Speakeasy got its name because patrons wanting to go in had to know a special code and be on the inside track. Today, in the back of Kohl's, you'll see this panel which opens into LA's brand new, old-style speakeasy bar called The Varnish. Hello. <laughs> Hello. How are you, I'm Eric? Good. Great to see you, Natalie. Great to see you. So this is Eric Alperin, the co-owner, the head bartender, and the general manager of The Varnish. So what is it about the speakeasy style bar that you think intrigues people so much? I find that it's the intimacy. It's um, having to work a little bit harder to get there. Um, possibly having to wait a little longer for your cocktail because you know you're going to get something that you're not usually accustomed to. Well, I'd love to see some of your classic bartending techniques and some of you work with ice. Did you know that even ice is a trend? The varnish uses old-style chunks of ice that chill your drink without diluting it. So now what are you going to show us, Eric? Uh, well, I'm going to make you a Manhattan. Um, I do two dashes of uh, Angostura. One, two. I'm going to take my two-to-one jigger. And I'm going to do an ounce of the Dolan Sweet Vermouth. I love Sweet Vermouth. Uh, a lot of people ask for a bourbon um, Manhattan, but we, we like to make it with rye. So then I'm going to put my two ounces using the same jigger um, into... We have our ice block here. So we take that. Okay. So now we have a nice sizable piece that's going to sit right at the bottom with the spirit. Okay, there we go. Break it up just a little bit. Okay. Then I like to grab one of these spoons right here and put that in and just go at it. You, know, you want to get it down to the bottom of the glass first and then once all the ice is stirring, you can let it sit at the top a little bit more. I like the way this hugs the, the rim, the sides of the uh, glass. I can't remember how, how long I've been stirring this for, but it's something you feel. And I think it's about two and a half minutes. You, know, you just feel this after you've done it for a long time. So we're about ready. So I'm going to just let that sit. I'm going to leave my stirring spoon in there. I'm going to grab my um, julep strainer, put that over like that. I'm going to reach over here, and I'm going to grab a cocktail glass that's been chilling. I'm going to put that down right here. I'm going to place my finger, leave the spoon in there and strain. With the Manhattan you have a little bit of freedom, so let's say that you ordered it with a twist. I always like to like sort of just peel right by the drink because whatever zest is hitting is, is really beneficial. So squeeze over the top, rub the rim, and then I don't like to per se drop, I like to put it on the edge like that. Gorgeous. Yeah, and just serve Beautiful. it like that. And then there you go. Well, Eric, thank you so much. I want to uh, toast the varnish and toast you Perfect. for sharing your skill. We all knew we were getting skill. to this point, this, this cheers point. Cheers. <laughs> cheers.